Today we're gonna be looking at five tiny manufactured homes on Amazon. And as a bonus, we're gonna be taking a look at this one right here. So go get your internet ready because it's time to do a little prime shopping. Let's get started. Before we jump online, did you know that the tiny houses started in the mid 80s? But they really didn't grow in popularity until the millennium. And of course, then it became quite a craze. But most of the reason that most people like tiny homes is because of the price, just like this one on Amazon. Okay, so this is gonna be one of our tiniest tiny homes that we look at. It's called the Allwood Escape cabin and it's $5,350 of course with the free shipping and it's only 113 square feet. Remember these do not have insulation and the weight of this cabin is 3,200 pounds. Let's take a look on the inside which is adorable because I love this natural wood look. They have some really nice pictures of the inside that they have um, provided by other people that have um, gotten them off of Airbnb, but it is a very, very tiny cabin. I can't imagine spending a long period of time living in one of these. I know lots of people do it, um, but not as many as people probably really think. Here's the full floor plan that they give you of this particular tiny home. So the next tiny home we're looking at is probably the most modern looking of all of them that we're gonna be looking at today. This one they're calling a studio garden house. So let's take a look at it. It's $9,995 and of course it has the free shipping. The description of this particular home says, it's ideal home office. It's a contemporary urban styling. Large windows allow abundance of natural light, suitable for environments where the classic cabin style does not fit. Um, it has two ratings, so let's go ahead and click on those. It said it was a great value. I would definitely change things up a bit for the bath and the small kitchen for guests and possibly stretch the ceiling to eight feet. Oops, this one's a bad review. I sold my 300K house just to try out something new and this wasn't worth it. I need to buy my, now I need to buy my own house. Why would you sell a $300,000 house to live in a tiny house that doesn't have insulation? That wasn't proper prior planning. And it's like literally 200 square feet. Who helped him make that decision? Okay, anyways, let's move on. <laughs> All right, here's an interesting question that somebody asked. Are they hurricane proof? Meaning are the kids hurricane proof? I don't even know of a house that's hurricane proof, but here's what they how they answered it. While these structures are resistant to wind speeds, technically they do not meet the latest coastal Florida wind and hurricane codes. So that's something to note if you live on the Florida coastline that it does not meet the hurricane codes. The roof pitch is two degrees and it's supposedly easy to assemble. And if you're anything like me and you've ever been on Ikea, nothing is easy to assemble. <laughs> <laughs> Another main reason why people decide on tiny homes is they want to downsize their stuff. That's all your house is. Your house is just a place for your stuff. If you didn't have so much goddamn stuff, you wouldn't need a house. You could just walk around all the time. That's all your house is. It's a pile of stuff with a cover on it. It seems that we all have a little bit too much stuff. So maybe this tiny home on Amazon might work for you and less stuff. Okay, the next one we're gonna be looking at is one that is under 40,000, but it doesn't have the free shipping, but it's still on Amazon. It's called the Jackson Tiny Home. This house is a four bedroom tiny home. So it's 275 square feet with 119 square feet for the front porch. The weight of it is 6,693 pounds. And that makes the shipping costs for this $3,350, which is pretty high. So it's gonna be, but of course that keeps it under the $40,000. But if you're expecting the free shipping, not on this one, but I wanted to show it because it was super cute. Let me show you the um, floor plan really quick. But it does have four full rooms and I did like the fact that it had a little porch, which would be really cute for someone that is looking for that tiny home lifestyle. This is the loft, this is where people sleep. <laughs> did you know that there's an estimated 10,000 tiny homes throughout the United States? I thought that number was going to be higher. But year after year, there's about 700 tiny homes that are built by commercial builders. And there's about another 700 that are built by private residents that are trying to build them themselves. I thought that was an interesting fact. If you're thinking about building one yourself, you might be interested in this one on Amazon. <laughs> this is how much room this gives me. <laughs> tiny manufactured home that we're gonna be looking at on Amazon is a little bit pricier than a couple of the other ones that we've looked at. It's called the Allwood Avalon Cabin Kit 
and it's 540 square feet. It does have four ratings, which gives it a four and a half stars. It does have a floor plan here. It does seem like you could live in this space a lot easier than you could some of those smaller tiny homes that we looked at. Here's a full blueprint of the house. It does look really nice and big. Each of the bedrooms looks like it has about 120 square feet. It, the living square footage, you know, in the living room area is about 215 square feet. The kitchen is about 45 square feet. The bathroom's 40 square feet. And then the front porch, they've given you about 176 square feet. This home does have a loft to it. So you can, they say you can put two beds in there, but I don't know about you. I hope you don't want to be around people that snore because I certainly don't. And I can't imagine sharing a room, a tiny room with another two people, unless it's my kids. I could, I could handle that. Their snores are cute. It is nice that they did provide some extra pictures that are not just cartoon pictures, drawing pictures. And uh, it does, it is adorable. I love the high ceiling from this. This is something I could live in, in for a long period of time. I don't know if I could live my whole entire life in one of these things, but definitely uh, this is a much more, feels more like a home than a, a cramped space that you can only spend a few hours in. I think I'm just too claustrophobic, but the bathroom's adorable. Please note, because I've read on some of these questions, the shower and the plumbing and the electrical does not come with this house, but it does come with free shipping. Still, all these houses come with free shipping, except for a couple. So that's the Allwood Avalon cabin kit, 540 square feet. You know, I'm thinking this particular tiny home would make a perfect YouTube studio for myself. I bet you're wondering how much this particular one is. Well, we're gonna find out in just a little bit because we have two more tiny homes from Amazon to look at, like this one. All right, the next one we're gonna be looking at is the Allwood Timberline. This house is 483 square feet and it's considered a cabin kit. It's $34,900, but it does include the free shipping. I know I keep telling you that, but it's something to note. The inside floor area is 354 square feet. The loft is 129 square feet. It does have a snow load capacity, which is something we don't have to worry about here in Louisiana, but if you are worried about it, it says 40 pounds. The wind load capacity is up to 120 miles per hour, and you can add factory protection against termites which is something that we have a major problem here in Louisiana. They say there's two kinds of homes in Louisiana, ones that have termites and ones that are gonna get them. This is what the downstairs would look like, and this is what the upstairs with the loft, and it looks like it can fit two regular twin beds. Here's the full blueprint. This is the part I found really interesting. This model comes with a steel storm rod for all four corners. The rods hold planks of each wall tightly together. This can also be anchored to the ground. So that's really good for people that are thinking about definitely keeping these intact. All of these tiny homes that we are looking at today are not ones that can be rolled down the road. They're ones that are intended to stay in place. One of the other main reasons why people decide to live in a tiny home is because they're wanting to leave a smaller carbon footprint and they're wanting to live off the grid. So let's go take a look at this particular house on Amazon and see if we can put some solar panels on the roof. So I think this particular tiny home would be perfect because of the way of the slope of the roof and that'd be perfect for solar panels. Um, this house is listed, not even listed. I'm, see, I'm talking like a real estate agent. This house is for sale, not even for sale. This is how much it cost, $19,990. And it is 259 square feet. It's called the Allwood Ranger Cabin Kit. And the main area is 259 square feet. It's milled from slow grown Nordic spruce. The roof area is 451 square feet. And it says, oh look, it even says ideal for solar panels, just like I thought. It says that you, they're gonna need about 45 days. So I want you to look at the amount of time that it takes them to ship it. So if we were to order this today, according to Amazon, it would come in on January 13th to through the 20th night. So you probably have like a two month. So if you decide to do this now, it's gonna be a project for the future. Don't expect it to show up your door like next day like most Amazon orders do. This one takes a little extra time. <laughs> this is this part cracks me up. They have this little rendering here and I wanna know where they um, found this like weird looking family. Like that woman looks like she's wearing a slip. The, the woman that they, 
they, they drew on there. Um, I don't, this is the weirdest rendering I've ever seen. So here's the inside floor plan of the Allwood Ranger. It's 259 square feet on one side. The loft is 168 square feet. So that gives it enough space to put in a, like maybe even a double bed if it's pretty tight. This model does have that tongue and groove with the steel rods that gives it that extra security to hold into the ground. These are all the things that it comes with in assembly. I hope it comes with really awesome instructions. And again, it has these pictures that show you how you can go ahead and have the house plumbed. Okay, so that's the Allwood Ranger cabin. That's 259 square feet on Amazon. It's also perfect for solar panels and you can have it delivered to your house in about a couple months months for you to put together by yourself. Remember, it doesn't come assembled. Okay, so that's all five tiny manufactured homes that you can get from Amazon for less than $50,000. But now that you've waited all this time, you're probably wondering how much this one is. If you remember a while back, I did a video about the five myths about manufactured homes and we met with Gary Millette. Well, he went ahead and let me show you this particular tiny home and it is $39,900. That's with setup and air conditioning. So sometimes Amazon doesn't have the best deals. My name is Christina Smallhorn, your real estate whisperer. And I tell you all this because you matter.